uh, it's a unique and historic as Las Vegas itself. We're talking about burlesque. Yeah, downtowns. In fact, the Burlesque Hall of Fame, it takes you through the history of this glitzy American tradition. Candace Charles live in the newsroom with an inside look at this week's hidden gem. Candace, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, folks. Burlesque is generally called the art of striptease. But walking through the Burlesque Hall of Fame in downtown Las Vegas, you can see it's so much more than that. A political message, an art form, and certainly a piece of not only Nevada history, but American history. Um, this is Becoming Burlesque. There's step-by-step -step instructions on how to do classic burlesque moves. A dance studio, an art exhibit, an avenue to burlesque history. The Burlesque Hall of Fame is a hidden gem with a multitude of treasures. We're telling them about a rich history that is uniquely American. Buttercup is the program coordinator. She takes visitors through its history. Created by renowned burlesque entertainer Jenny Lee and bought to Las Vegas by the late Marilyn Monroe of burlesque Dixie Evans, the Hall of Fame has been offering a tour since 2010. What we've come to think of as a sort of traditional topless show or Las Vegas showgirl show uh, has its roots directly in burlesque. Dustin Wax is the Hall of Fame's executive director. He tells me much of what you see in the museum was donated from performers throughout the years. And earlier this month, their annual fundraiser, The Weekender. This is the largest gathering of burlesque performers from past to present. With the help of donations and the strong burlesque community, Buttercup and Wax are able to keep the museum going, inspiring the next generation of stars through their school of strip tease. We can do a tease, make sure you're looking at your audience and reminding Hall of Fame visitors that everyone has the capacity to express themselves. It's just a really important part of our culture and we hope that it has lessons for everyone that walks through here. And they have guided tours four times a week at an affordable price. They have a huge burlesque show coming up on July 15th. We'll have those details on their website, 8newsnow.com. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Candace Charles, 8 News Now. Really fun to get the backstory. Candace, thank you so much. Yeah,